Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and run LOL Miner or LOL Miner on a Windows 10 PC. In this example, we're going to mine Ethereum using the Ethermine pool. So let's get started. So we'll first begin by opening up our browser and heading over to GitHub. GitHub is where LOL Miner is being hosted. There'll be a link in the description directly to this web page so you can easily find it. Now, LOL Miner supports many algorithms and ETHash is the algorithm that we want to use. And if we scroll down a bit here, you can see that it's in the list of supported algorithms. Let me just scroll down a bit. And they also show the percentage of the fee that they're taking. So here it is. And the fee is 0.7%, which is fairly reasonable. And that's why we're using this miner. Now we're going to jump over to version 1.28a. This is the latest version that's supported by Windows. So if you scroll down here at the bottom, you'll see the Windows zip file that we can download and click on it. It's a very small file. So when you download it, it'll download to your downloads folder. And then the next thing we're going to do is extract it. So I'm going to open up my downloads folder and here is the zip file. And uh, let me just minimize this window and center it a bit here. Okay, so we'll right click on it and then we're gonna extract all the files from this folder into our downloads folder as well. And we'll just let it extract here. Now you may get a prompt from your antivirus software. We wanna make sure that you add this folder to the exclusion list so your antivirus software does not remove it. If it removes the low miner, then you won't be able to mine. So let's copy it to the desktop here. So here is the folder. Let me just open it up in here. And this is all the contents of the folder. So there's many different algorithms that are in here. And I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see it a little clearer. Now these are all batch files for each algorithm that it supports. Now the one that we're gonna be using is ethash, which is this one over here. And we're gonna be editing this file. To edit the batch file, we just have to right click on it and say edit. You might get a warning like I did for, from Windows to protect your PC. We can just say run anyway. And then we get a very simple text file here with just a couple things that we need to change in order to customize it to our settings. So let me just zoom in a bit here so you can see it better. And now there's a few things that we're gonna to wanna to switch. And the first thing that we're gonna do is set the pool. So in this area over here, we're gonna change the pool to the pool that we wanna use, and we're gonna be using Ethermine. So let me open up the website for Ethermine here, and I'll just bring it onto the screen. So here we go. And I'm gonna go over to Start Mining, and I'm gonna scroll down a bit here. And so you have four different servers to choose from. You have the Asia, Europe, you have the US East and the US West. So I'm gonna use the US East. Uh, that's because I'm in Canada and this is the closest server to me. So I'm gonna highlight this, which is the server address. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna open up my miner. And inside the miner text field, I'm gonna paste it right here. I'm gonna leave the semicolons alone and I'm gonna paste it there. Okay, so us.ethermine.org colon. Now we're not gonna be using 2020 because the port is different. We're gonna delete that. And over here, you can see that the port number is 4444. So let me switch back over here. I'm gonna type that in 4444 and that is done. And next we're gonna use a wallet. So I'm gonna minimize that. And the next thing that we wanna do is change the wallet. Now this is the default wallet that's in here, but you wanna delete it and put your own wallet in. So I'm gonna highlight this and I'm gonna delete it. Now I'm gonna get my own wallet address. So I'm gonna copy my wallet and then I'm gonna paste it in here. And that's my wallet address. Please don't use my wallet address because anything you mine will come to my account and I'll get paid for your work and you don't want that. So put in your own wallet address in here. Next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you can either just leave this, I'm gonna leave it as this, but this is just the name of the miner. Uh, when you go to the website and check it out later on, that's what's gonna populate and that's just the label. So you can call it whatever you want. It doesn't have to be LOL miner worker. It could be anything of your choosing. And then when you're done, you just click on the file menu at the top and then we're just gonna save it. And then that's it. So back at our main window, we're gonna go back into the folder and we're gonna double click on the batch file to execute it. So it's gonna automatically pop up here and then right off the bat, it's gonna give a little bit of a description of the information it gathered. And we have a GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. Uh, it knows that the vendor is NVIDIA and it's giving you the information about the memory and the algorithm that's been selected. So just a little bit of information it provides right off the bat, but all this can be found on the website. So here we are, we're up and running and we're mining Ethereum. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.